All right, so uh, today we're gonna do just a basic D-pin and uh, kind of re-pin show you. This connector here that we're gonna be working with is one of our most common ones. This is a Y210B3. We actually have it connected to a Y210C3 because we were doing a, a wire demo, a wire repair demo before this. Um, but I'll show you, this would be if you had to uh, get the factory wires removed out of the connector. Um, so either you could switch those factory wires over to the new connector you bought from us, um, or if you just need to remove our wires so you can wire it onto the vehicle first and then put them back in. Um, just kind of give you a breakdown of removing the locks and get the wires out and uh, getting into the catches that actually release the wires. So uh, here we'll show you kind of a close up on the uh, connector. So we'll have our the face of the connector on a lot of them you'll see it will be a different color than the outside plastic. Uh, so this is actually your catch that goes in around the pin and pushes down on the uh, plastic built-in catch of the uh, connector. So first you can kind of uh, usually put a finger in front of it so you don't send it flying and kind of pry just a little bit. You usually find a spot that's actually designed to have a screwdriver. This one actually has a perfect little flat cut in it. So it releases that cap. You can kind of see it pops up. Usually the easiest just to remove it all the way. So that's our secondary lock removed. And so inside this connector, there are built-in catches. And when you put those pins into there, they actually fall into place. So what you have to do is get the screwdriver inside the connector. I'm actually gonna step down my size, this little 1.0, and we do actually sell these on the website. We have a whole 16-piece kit, because um, it has to be an incredibly small screwdriver. And so what you're gonna wanna do is just slide right down in, right on top of the pin, and you'll kind of feel it lift up the catch and you can pull out the wire. It's almost simultaneous. Of course you don't want to uh, you don't want to be pulling on the pin before you have got the catch released because otherwise it'll put you know unnecessary tension sometimes break the catch or the pin just won't come out. So uh, let's try this again here. We will um, slide right down on the top of the pin. Try to do this here at the same time of having it in front of me. So we'll slide in, lift up the catch, and then you can pull that pin out. And it's actually catching right here on top of the pin. There's a little cutout, and all pins will have it. Sometimes it'll catch here, sometimes it catches on the back side um, of the pin. It just depends on the way the connector and everything is set up. And you'll know if you're trying to reinstall them, which I'll show you in a second, you, uh, you can't do it wrong typically. Uh, most connectors aren't going to let you put it in the wrong way, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just going to be which spot it goes in. So if you have red in spot one, uh, say blue on uh, cavity two, so forth, so on, you'd want to match that up correctly. So we're going to remove our last one here. All right, so that would be connector is completely deep pin, no wires. So from here, uh, if this was the broken one, you could discard it. If this is the uh, new one from us and you wanted to put this back onto the factory wires, of course, at this point, we uh, could just reinstall. So what we'll do, I'll just move these out of the way. Those wires will pretend like this is our new wires from us. And uh, let's just say we've already uh, spliced them onto the vehicle. So again, you'd wanna make sure you've got your right color wire to the correct cavity, um, which is either down the diagram if the original connector was completely ripped off or you'd keep track, either take a picture or write down your uh, what color went to what cavity and uh, that way when you put it all back together you get in the right spot because that does make a difference all right so from here again it caught the catch grabbed into this hole right here on the top okay that is actually where the catch will lock in and i'll show you here i'll try to put it in upside down first so as we try to go i feel a resistance immediately and it doesn't want to slide in turn it around goes in and you hear it, the click that's that catch grabbing so we'll do that again Slide our pin in. Can you hear that catch? And we'll do the last one. So from there, one good thing to always do is I will actually look inside and make sure that all the catches are fully engaged. Um, you can even kind of pull back a little bit on those wires and it'll pull that plastic catch down. That way when you go to uh, put the front face on, and typically these are only going to go on one way also. 
So we'll get it. And we should hear it click. Actually, this one already did click. But that's it. Again, make sure that your pins were all secured in place, which we know that these were, and uh, pretty much done at that point. So again, if you'd wire this up on the vehicle, uh, you're ready to go, and or you'd be ready to go in and splice it on now if you wanted to. Mm -hmm.